Cullen from CullenSABCs.com, and I have a science activity for you that you can do with children. It is really fun, and um, let me just tell you the things that you'll need, and then I'll kind of show you how it all works, okay? So you'll need a tray, a tray, a cookie sheet, a dish, anything that you can find in your cupboard or in your classroom, it will work. Okay, and then on that you can put some baking soda. Okay, so the white stuff is the baking soda. Any kind of baking soda will work. Any brand will work as long as it's baking soda. Then you will need some vinegar. Any vinegar will work as long as it's vinegar. So this is, happens to be the apple cider vinegar. I just had it in my cupboard and it worked great. You can use the clear kind. Any kind will work. Now you'll need some bowls. And what will be inside these bowls is a little bit of vinegar and then a little bit of food coloring or watercolor. I have at home the, water, the food coloring, you know, that comes in the package of four. And then I just drop a few drops of that in the bowls. You can also use watercolor as well. Also, something else you'll need are some eyedroppers. You can use, if you don't have eyedroppers, that's fine. You can just have your child pour it onto the baking soda. Eyedroppers are great because they just suck up a little bit and then they can drop them all over. But the one thing I really love about eyedroppers is when children are squeezing them, they are using those muscles in their hands. They're building them up and making them strong for writing later. And I think that that is a great skill. Instead of giving them a pencil maybe right now, you could give them some eyedroppers, give them some Play-Doh, work those muscles in their hands to build them up and make them strong. Okay, so in the bowls, you have some vinegar and you have some food coloring, okay? Now, I have like three or four bowls out here, different colors. I have red and yellow and green and blue, and you can use all those colors, okay? So your child, what they're going to do, you can have your child help to put this together if you want, or you can just put it together and put it out on the table and see what they do with it, okay? And then they soak it up in here, okay? And then they drop it onto their, onto the baking soda. See it? Okay, so now make sure you talk with your child about it. What did you see? What did you hear? What did you smell? Of course, vinegar has a very distinct smell, so they're going to smell that right away. So a lot of this is working on the five senses as well. So they're smelling they're seeing what's happening. When you drop the vinegar on there, it kind of bubbles up and it makes a sound. So they're hearing that as well. And then the colors, you can also mix the colors together and talk about what they're seeing as well. Of course, you could taste it, but it wouldn't taste very well. So I wouldn't recommend that. But they can also feel it. Some kids are going to want to feel the baking soda. Other kids aren't. Some kids are going to want to feel the um, watercolor and the vinegar. Some kids are not. That's okay. Some kids are going to experience different things. Okay, all kids just experience things differently, and that's great. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this science activity as much as I do. Bye.